What is the pressure and temperature for an R410A system? Let's break it down. On a warm day, about 85 degrees outside, a properly running R410A residential system should show. Suction side, low pressure. Pressure around 120 to 145 PSI. This gives a saturation temperature of about 40 degrees to 50 degrees Farc. That means your evaporator coil is cold enough to absorb heat, but not freezing. Discharge side, high pressure, pressure around 350 to 425 PSI, which equals a saturation temperature of about 105 degrees to 125 degree 4. This means your condenser coil is hot enough to reject heat to the outdoor air. Why it matters, low suction pressure could mean low refrigerant, a restriction, or bad airflow. High head pressure might be overcharged, dirty condenser, or non-condensables in the system. Remember, R410A operates at much higher pressure than R22, so always use gauges rated for at least 800 PSI working pressure. Compare your readings with the R410A pressure temperature chart to know what's really going on inside the system. Like this video and follow for more HVAC repair tips.